Today we're in Habakkuk chapter 1. This is a prophet whose name means to embrace. And what he's going to embrace is some of the difficult issues that are going on right before his eyes. He's going to embrace some of the things that are happening in the land of Judah and why God's not, well, why he's, why he's not responding, why he's not doing anything. The burden which the prophet Habakkuk saw. O Lord, how long shall I cry? and you'll not hear. Even cry to you violence, and you'll not save. Why do you show me iniquity and cause me trouble? For plundering and violence are before me. Their strife and contention arises. Therefore the law is powerless and justice never goes forth. For the wicked surround the righteous. Therefore perverse judgment proceeds. He's dealing with a culture and a scenario where all this evil has come into the land and all these things are happening and he's asking God, God, why are you allowing this? Why aren't you doing something? What's going on? And I think all of us can relate to that at times when trouble comes into our life, problems with family or problems with our city or or even as we look now, problems within our country. They're being overrun with wickedness and evil and This prophet's asking a very age-old question. God, where are you? Why aren't you doing anything? And because his name means embrace, he's embracing these things, all that comes. And at the end, he, he really, well, he comes to a resolve of a firm trust and faith in God. But it takes him a while. And I think sometimes God lets things happen around us and to us and even in us to, to humble us maybe to show us what we're being saved from instead of being drawn into it, and to value His grace and His salvation and His Word. God uses tough times, many times, to create a tough faith. And this is what we see in the book of Habakkuk. He goes through all these things wondering why and how come and what's the deal. But at the end, he comes to an understanding that God has a plan. He knows what He's doing. And it's the difficult trail. I mean, we've all seen things and wondered why God don't you, or why did you, or how come this, and why me? And this is, well, it's the story of Habakkuk. And I think it's amazing that his name means to embrace, that he embraces all of this and comes to a firmer faith in the Lord. Instead of falling away, instead of cursing the Lord, instead of turning his back on him, he questions, he trusts, and he comes to a firmer faith and a more stable place in his life. And I think the same thing can happen for you and I. Let's trust him for the things we don't understand and watch his plan, well, watch his plan be worked out in our lives and in the life of this whole world that we live in. God's not finished yet with the world and we have to trust him with what's going on in us and around us.